so regulating emotions how much emotion in which context you know too much stress during an examination or interview too much excitement when some news is communicated to you these are all unregulated emotions regulated emotion would mean that you feel happy without it being excess you feel sad without it being excess today i find in the younger generation i hope not in iit but i find in my own university the most fashionable thing is to be depressed how are you feeling child oh madam today very depressed horribly depressed today why are you feeling depressed no reason they are feeling tomorrow more depressed the day after more depressed that has become very fashionable you know to be bored how are you feeling very bored when i was young i didn't know that a word like bored could be used we had so much to do you have much more because your electronic gadgets like ipad and you know ipod didn't exist when i was young but still boredom the disengaged mind so emotional intelligence gives a mental balance although we say emotion is in the heart and you know intellect is in the mind it's nothing like that to get a mental balance to regulate your emotions properly use them at the right time where you are supposed to show emotion you are indifferent where you are not supposed to show emotion you show too much of it you know if you go to the interview hall and your hands are shivering that is an unnecessary emotion even if you are frightened please keep it to yourself if you fail in an examination the emotion is not to feel sad but the emotion is to feel motivated okay i failed wonderful good i failed next time i will come first that is the emotion you require not the emotion by saying let me see where i will get some rat poison and commit some suicide you know this is this is what emotion is all about emotion regulates your attitudes he asked a question earlier about attitude you know emotion is what gives balance to your attitude emotion is what gives the right mental picture the right ideas therefore emotional intelligence you know these three things now i have given in two slides two strategies with examples from vivekananda again i am not reading the examples because we are coming close to the time the session was supposed to finish at 2 but uh, shubhadeep said i could continue for a little more time but it depends on you here democracy is wonderful so we will go by democracy only no autocracy here would you like me to continue or stop okay when you get very hungry will you tell me 2:30 you'll get very hungry wonderful see body clock that is called so the two uh, strategies are like that one is that we should have a range of emotions one context variety of emotion means range of emotions if you are a good student say oh i am a very good student you know i should keep always a very serious face and studious eyes i can't smile oh my god can i smile on campus i am a good student another person is there always jovial always frivolous always making fun of everything this fellow is always laughing can't be a good student see how we are defining it is not like that a single context like a campus iit campus can bring out all your emotional responses in the class be studious outside the class be jovial being jovial doesn't stop you from being studious being studious doesn't stop you from being jovial how can it suppose you are very serious minded somebody tells you a joke then you scratch your head and say can you tell us the meaning also you know the whole joke is spoiled if you the meaning has to be told to you somebody tells you you know a sad story today i was walking into the campus and i fell down you say oh you fell down ha <laughs> wonderful wonderful are you not misusing emotions you know you go to somebody's funeral wearing a colorful dress and say oh he died wonderful so nice you go to a wedding with a long face and a black dress and you look very sad as though you know they are committing the worst crime possible are we not you know misusing emotions so in a particular context particular emotion might fit in a single context there is no limit of a single emotion to be able to know different emotions in different context is essential one example i have given you know is the vicissitudes in vivekananda's life when he had problems what all he did 
when his father died all the money was taken away by the relatives and so on still he could hold on to his mental balance he went to ramakrishna and he said will you tell mother kali to give me a job ramakrishna said no no i cannot tell mother kali such things you go he went inside he couldn't tell three four times he went he couldn't tell then ramakrishna said don't worry at least you all will get enough to eat so he didn't say i want to become rich or i want this or i want that sorrow suffering happiness you know responsibility all these are different facets of emotions we have to find out suppose you're feeling that your mind is disturbed at that point easily you can see that there is some emotional imbalance sit quietly with yourself you know this is called secular meditation it's not religious meditation sit quietly with with yourself and think why is it that my mind is disturbed today we ill treat others because of emotional imbalances we behave badly because of emotional imbalances if every day we have this habit of secular meditation we will never make such a mistake again we will first analyze our mind but unfortunately most of us don't do that we don't do you know mind mapping is like that at any point of time your mind is giving some trouble you draw a mind map when you want to do a great adventure draw a mind map when you want to study for your exam draw a mind map when you want to teach well in a class draw a mind map when you want to do your research well like many phd scholars draw a mind map your mind map tells you everything about life i haven't shown you how to draw the map that is there on internet many sites but i have shown you what are the benefits much later so let us do second strategy emotional intelligence avoiding excess of emotion this i told you already in some examples so i won't go into the details of it two examples are given again i won't go into details of that also because we are running short of time i am going on to the self analysis questions there are as i told you about 10 questions so some of them might be relevant to you but i would like you to frame a questionnaire with minimum 100 questions for yourself no need to ask others keep 100 questions ready so that regularly you answer once a week once in 10 days once a month you must answer the questions this is the best way of analyzing yourself do you frequently feel negative emotions or get negative thoughts you do it today no today i didn't get any negative after one week you might get a positive answer to this remember you know life is constantly changing today what we don't have tomorrow we might have do you have emotional swings most of us do you know suddenly you get up in the morning feeling highly excited no reason suddenly you get up in the morning horribly depressed no reason the mind is a monkey you know are you not going to train the monkey you are given a monkey now please train it if you don't train it to your peril you know recently i have i went to lecture in vrindavan they say don't wear your specs it seems the monkeys take away the specs many audience came you know the audience was about 5000 people many of them lost their specs because the monkeys took away i kept my specs inside where monkeys couldn't see so my specs are still there that is how a monkey is the monkey is unpredictable the mind is unpredictable it is up to us to train it do you learn from all experience you know students often ask how much should we learn whom should we learn from why should we learn how should we learn what should we learn don't students have these questions those of you who are students might have it those of you who are teachers might find students to teach a student how to learn from life that is the job of a teacher education is not enough b a b tech m tech is not enough something much beyond is there so are you capable of learning from life are you capable of learning from experience do you compare yourself with others this i already answered to you in the morning by saying when you compare yourself do a comparison with yourself others are not there you know apple cannot be compared to orange others are different capabilities you compare today i am so good tomorrow am i better or worse than today day after tomorrow am i better or worse than day before yesterday 
like that if you compare excellence cannot escape because i want to speak am i speaking because i love seeing places am i speaking because i had nothing to do in hyderabad see how many ways of answering are there all these will tell us about our attitude our mind our emotions our aim is to see the mind the body can be seen in a mirror the mind no mirror is there so we are creating a mirror for the mind by putting these questions self analysis is nothing other than peeping into your mind at a regular interval most of us don't acknowledge we have a mind we only make use of a mind we want to stand first so use the mind we want a good job so use the mind but we don't admit that we have a mind we give so much food to the body you know i asked you lunch 2:30 we will be hungry at 2:30 are we giving food to the mind we never feed our mind at all good thoughts good ideas good attitudes mental food we exercise the body you know so many gyms i don't know in kanpur but in hyderabad everybody goes to a gym this morning i took a long walk you know getting up early in the morning we are very careful of the body who gives exercise to the mind we clean and decorate our body every day nice bath you know we go to haridwar ganga bath who's cleaning the mind if you're 20 year old 20 years of dump you have dumped inside no cleaning if i'm 50 years old 50 years of mess in my mind no cleaning 